This is fascia, and under here is soffit. These two parts of a house are seldom thought about, especially after it's already constructed, but it's something we obviously couldn't forget constructing this house from the ground up. So let's go through from start to finish on how this came to be. And thank you to McElroy Metal for sponsoring this video. It's soffit and fascia day. Our friend and neighbor Ben is helping us out with this. He's really experienced with sheet metal. All of our soffit and fascia is 29 gauge steel. Uh, it's supplied by McElroy Metal, the same company who supplied our roof, and it's really good stuff, so I can't wait to see it all in. Before putting any metal up, I wanted to block off the open spaces between rafters. I just used scrap zip wall sheathing that I cut into small rectangles to fit perfectly inside each rafter bay. I secured each one with a couple screws, then used zip liquid flash to seal around the edges. These homemade baffles prevent moving air from hitting the insulation that'll be against them, but still allow a one inch air gap above them for ventilation under the roof sheathing. The guys are getting set up now. They're throwing this walk board up between the ladders up on the back side of the house. That should make quick work of this whole background here. This is a 24 inch overhang. So we got 23 and a half inch pre-cut soffit panels. That'll make install quick. Then a piece of metal fascia will slip up underneath the gutter apron up there and then come down and it's already got a pre-bent bottom on it that will cover the other exposed edge of the soffit. Up against the wall we'll be putting what's called an F channel. It basically provides a nailing flange to nail to the surface of the wall but basically a little u-shaped slot to receive the edge of the soffit panel and support it there. On the gable ends we'll actually be using a J channel which looks like a J with the long edge of the J up against our bottom fly rafter there on the overhang. These are 15 inch overhangs. Uh, we, we screwed them on so I didn't want to go too crazy big on these because I didn't want to risk them sagging but basically that J channel will go up underneath here and provide another pocket to receive the edge of the soffit panel. Each panel gets one of these square drive little pancake head screws that got a pretty flat profile head so that they don't interfere with the next panel snapping in. On the corners, we have built out what are called box thieves or bird boxes, and those will get wrapped with just basically a flat sheet of steel. All right, Mike and Ben are hard at work putting the soffit up, but we did run into a little bit of a hiccup with the material. Unfortunately, there was a bit of a manufacturing defect on our vented soffit. The roll former must have not been set perfectly, and so the vents actually never punctured. It basically just embossed it. We actually have to have vents. It's code required and it is really important for allowing the roof sheathing to dry. So we have an airspace going all the way up underneath all of our roof sheathing and that air intake is the soffit. So I sent some photos of this to my guy Sean at McElroy and he obviously agreed and he's going to be sending us out some new material shortly but today it's going to be unvented soffit only. There's our first corner. Once the guys got into a rhythm, they were really able to start flying. The fascia was fastened with white matching stainless trim nails, but to avoid oil canning the metal when the trim nails were driven through, Ben pre-drilled holes every two feet. He's got a pretty slick work setup. He has his sheet metal brake permanently mounted to the top of the truck, and then he used spray on bed liner to create a grippy spot on the side of the work body to stand on while using the brake. Probably not OSHA approved, but it sure beats lugging a heavy sheet metal brake out of a trailer every day. Ben's been doing work on houses and building houses since he was a teenager, so we feel pretty lucky to have him as a friend and neighbor back at the farm we live at now. For this job, we actually exchanged labor. We drew up a set of house plans for one of his upcoming builds in exchange for a few days of his and his helper's work, putting the soffit and fascia up. The barter was a good deal for both of us, and it's just one of many ways we've tried to be resourceful in this project to keep it debt free. What the heck is that? Not even lunchtime, we're on to the second gable.
Now I didn't get much footage of me actually installing these, but we put a number of electrical boxes in the soffit. These two in the front corner are for a switch plug for Christmas lights. This other one's for an ethernet security camera. And then we have three along the back side of the house for floodlights and security cameras. The boxes are just nailed to a two by four, which is screwed into my rafters going this way. And I also put in this white pull rope. It's just nylon pull string. We obviously don't have wires ready to go in these yet, but this nylon pull string feeds to the inside of the house and it's gonna make pulling wire through these boxes really easy. Once the soffit's all built, you can no longer access back here. So you need to be able to get to it from the inside of the house. So just keep in mind if you're building to put those boxes in before your soffit goes up. All the metal comes with a layer of protective plastic film that's to be peeled off just before installation. Elena was our dedicated plastic peeler and she did a nice job with this tedious task. I'm gonna guess these Milwaukee single cut shears are a pretty decent tool considering the roofers had the same exact one. I feel like half the battle when it comes to exterior work on houses is just safely getting yourself in the right spot and not damaging anything else in the process. Ben and Mike are obviously quite experienced at this and I really appreciated how careful they were to not scratch or dent the roof while working up underneath that soffit next to these dormers. All day you climb, and right back down the other side The subfascia boards on the front side here had quite a bit of crown to them and they weren't perfectly straight, so the guys used a string line to make sure the fascia was hung straight. Well, that is the scoop on our soffit and fascia. I appreciate you watching. Hope you got something out of it and we will see you next time.